buy? What 10 things would I buy on Etsy if I had an unlimited budget? Sometimes it's almost as much fun to think about what I would buy than it is to actually make a purchase. Today I wanted to share with you some things I like regardless of budget. If this idea is popular, I might do additional videos along the same theme, i.e. if I had $50 to spend on jewelry, what would I buy, etc. I would love for you to tell me in the comments what you think, and if you want to share what you might purchase, that would be great. If you ha have a channel and would like to do a similar video, please uh, make sure to tell me so I can watch. I'll include a link to all these items in case you want to get a closer look. First, I think I would pick up this Art Deco style statement necklace by Sweet Romance. It is lovely sparkly enamel and it is a modern piece. Um, I already have a beautiful matching brooch. Um, you can find this item on Shelly Cooper Jewelry on Etsy for more photos and details. The next item that I would love to have is this Art Nouveau circa 1900 Plique Azure enamel and sterling necklace. Um, Plique Azure enamel pieces are very delicate and I don't ha have much hope of finding one in the wild that is not uh, broken so I'm enjoying watching this one right now. The seller is El Elegantium. Next is this one of everything cabochon set. This beautiful ready-made collection would make it easier to learn about and compare different types of stones. The seller is Moon Mountain Gems. The fourth item is a vintage Christian Lacroix Space Age acrylic bangle. This speaks to my love of plastic bangles and uh, my love of naturalistic flowing lines. The color is to die for too. The seller is vintage on mode. The fifth item I wanted to show you is this beautiful sterling and pink tourmaline ring. I really appreciate carving and jewelry, and this piece is lovely. It would, would go quite well with the LaCroix bangle I just showed too. The seller is Himalayan Gems Jaipur. The sixth item I wanted to show you is this circa 1940s clear plastic lucite reverse carved bangle featuring a water scene. I just adore the way the carved decoration shines through the lucite, and I like the theme too. The seller is Anita Anita, who you probably know from YouTube. Number seven is this antique Hubble turquoise glass necklace. I love art glass, and this this type is one of my favorites. The seller is Bygone Days Treasures. Number eight is this antique Victorian rock crystal locket. I love the customizable aspect of this piece. You can showcase something precious in it or let the rock crystal be the star. The seller is Through Fine Hands. Item number nine in my fantasy shopping spree is this antique Victorian silver book chain. This is a highly decorative version of a book chain, and I'm in love. The type of chain is versatile, and pendants can be changed out easily. Wouldn't that rock crystal pendant I just featured look beautiful here? The seller is Boiler PF. The final item that I wanted to show you today is this 45 inch Art Deco Pools of Light Rock Crystal Sterling Necklace. Pools of Light are simply breathtaking and this is a stunning example. The seller is Judy Wyant Antiques. 
I hope you had fun looking at these be at these beauties with me. Remember, I'm including a link so you can easily access more pictures and details. Let me know if you'd like to see more content like this, and please share what you would buy for yourself if money were no object. And if you have a channel and do a similar video, please make sure to tell me so I don't miss it. Please subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for going on this journey with me. Love you.